The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we've replaced the previous fiber with another one. The only difference between this fiber and the previous one is that the core diameter is now a little bit bigger. It's about six microns instead of four microns in the previous fiber. Setup is exactly the same. Again, we have the laser here getting reflected by this mirror and this mirror into the lens, into this fiber, this new fiber. And then the, the output of the fiber goes onto the screen. So let's now take a look at the output of this fiber. Aha. Uh -huh. So what first thing we see that doesn't look like a single mode at all, that single low. And if I change the, the adjustment, if we can have the camera looking at my adjustments, then you see that I can get a variety of uh, uh, of shapes. All I'm doing is changing the adjustment. And I can get a variety of shapes, and clearly it's not like what we had before, the single mode be be behavior that we had before. And this is then the so-called multi-mode. What you're seeing are, are different transverse modes that, are, that can propagate in, in this fiber because the core diameter is bigger. But I'm going to leave it to you then to explain uh, why exactly why you get higher, or higher, mode, higher transverse modes propagated in this, uh, in this fiber. Again, the wavelength is the same. The only, thing, the only difference is that the core diameter is, is bigger. You see this one here, you get a nice dark line in the middle. And then, then if I align it over here, you can see it's blobby. It's a mixture of modes. That's why you don't see a uh, sharp dark line in the middle, but you get a uh, mixture of modes. Well, remember in the other one, no matter what I did in the alignment, uh, it was still single mode uh, coming out, just one lobe coming out. All right, now multi-mode fibers have uh, many applications also. But for today, for a lot of sophisticated sensor applications and communications, uh, one uses, one generally uses single mode fibers. So here, here's a, here's a pretty, pretty mode with a dark line down the, uh, down the middle. Now what I would like to do is show how, how touchy uh, this fiber is to, to uh, bending. In fact, if we take a look at the fiber here, as soon as I just press on it, if we get, take a close look at it, if I just press on it, uh, I can kick light, kick light out. If I just simply press on it, I can kick the, some light out. So it's very touchy to, to, to stress and, and to bend. What I would like to do then is show that I can kick out some of the transverse modes by, by simply bending or stressing the fiber. What I'm going to do is then bend this fiber. And if you watch in the, in the inset, you can see that the intensity will go down. But if I keep increasing the bend, I end up with single mode, with a single mode propagation, but, but weak. And this illustrates that you can strip off the high order modes uh, by simply uh, bending, bending the fiber. But the penalty is you get uh, much less light uh, getting propagated. So here we have single mode propagation, and here we have multi-mode or mixture of multi-modes that are propagating in the, in the fiber. Again, you can see that the, there's a lot of light that gets kicked out, has to be kicked out of the fiber. You can see the the bend absolutely glows. In fact, this, this bending effect on, on the transmission of light in a fiber can be used as a, as a sensor. A sensor of uh, pressure, sensor of stress, bends, and, and what have you. All right, so then in, in summary, we've looked at the propagation of laser light in a in a single mode fiber. And we also saw what happens when the fiber core is, uh, is a little bit big. And we saw the propagation of multi-modes. And as I mentioned earlier, 
the popular fiber today is the, is the single mode fiber. But again, there are applications for multi-mode fibers.